I would like for uh, Marlene Bastien, uh, Marlene Bastien is a leader of uh, the Haitian community here and she has been concerned about uh, also the plight of the uh, immigrants, undocumented immigrants in this nation and perhaps, uh, and, and of course, uh, the, the situation of the Haitians also in you know, other places, specifically in the Bahamas, Marlene. Uh, I would like for you to express your feeling about Quisiera, Marlene Bastien eh, ha estado preocupada por eh, la, la situación de los eh, haitianos también y ha estado en comunicación. Nosotros hemos conseguido un testimonio que le estamos brindando a ella también. Ella es una de las dirigentes haitianas de esta comunidad. Good morning. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to thank you, Raúl, y Movimiento Democracia, por bringing into light the plight and conditions of the refugees in the Bahamas. It revolves our conscience when we heard about the abuses that refugees from Cuba, from Haiti, from Argentina, and other places are suffering in the beautiful island of the Bahamas. It revolves the conscience to know that in this century, that we have governments that continue to refuse to afford to refugees the right of due process. The right of due process, as you must know, is the most basic right that any nation in this world need to afford refugees from wherever they are coming from to afford them the right to stay while they are, they are leaving their nations, to afford them the chance to go in a court of law to state why they cannot go back, if they cannot go back, and where they wish to go, if they wish to go. Unfortunately, there continue to be nations in this hemisphere that could refuse to afford refugees the right of due process. I have two quick things that I'd like to ask. First and foremost, I'm asking for my government, the Haitian government, to take its responsibilities, take its responsibilities and to investigate and find out what's going on in the prisons to, to the Haitian refugees. To take its responsibility to ask and to urge the Prime Minister there, to treat not only the Haitians but all refugees fairly. And if the Haitian refugees have to be repatriated, they have to be repatriated in a very humane, humane and fair manner. So that's my first request, that the Haitian government, and I'm talking to them directly, take its responsibilities toward their nationals in the Bahamas. For too many years, We've been hearing about bad treatments. We've been fighting against the bad treatments of Haitian refugees and other refugees in the Bahamas. And the Haitian government, and all the governments for that matter, need to take their responsibilities toward these detainees. That's one. The second thing that we'd like to ask, and it's a direct plea to the Prime Minister, uh, Christie, do to others what you would like done to you. Do unto others what you'd like to do to, to, uh, done to you. And justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. And justice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. People from all around the world go to Nassau Bahamas to enjoy the beautiful weather, beautiful playas, beautiful beaches. I've gone to uh, uh, conferences to the Bahamas so many times. And it pains me. My heart bleeds when I hear about all the, the travels and the sufferings of the refugees, the, the physical abuse, the sexual abuse. It revolts my conscience. And I think that it should revolt any of your consciences here today. So our directly to the Prime Minister is to investigate, investigate, and then put in place the structure so that refugees, no matter where they are coming from, Cuba, Haiti, Argentina, Chile, no matter where they are coming from, that they are 
affording the right of due process, which is the most basic right any government on this earth should afford refugees who are forced to leave their nation in search of freedom and justice and if in search of a better life. Do to others what you would like done to you. And I'm, I'd like to present uh, Ivan Spoviso. We are both from the Haitian American Grassroots Coalition and I also represent the Haitian women of Miami. And I wish again to thank you. Thank you for your leadership. We've worked together for many, many years now. We've been on the trenches. And then our fight has been simple, and I'm going to end right there. Our fight, our struggle, our quest is a simple quest that refugees are treated fairly no matter where they land on this earth. Thank you so much. Marlene, uh, I would like to ask you a question. Uh, we, we struggle for the rights of the refugees and, and, and for the rights of people who are mistreated anywhere. But we also have a, uh, a duty to try to uh, help the countries that have these problems. And would you think, would you think it would be uh, something feasible to, to go on to the different countries to see if there is some kind of regional meeting to address uh, the issue of the refugees so that the United Nations can also be more involved yeah, in helping uh, those countries so mistreatment, uh, at least in some degree, is reduced. I know that we're not going to get rid of it uh, for good, but at least if the governments were to uh, address this issue and resources were to be put uh, where they are more, uh, uh, mistreated, so that they are properly treated, and uh, those who are dealing with them are, are uh, afforded some kind of uh, training in regards to the international requirements I believe that it would be a very uh, good endeavor because uh, many of these uh, governments they don't even know that they have a they have a responsibility they have a right all right they have obligations toward these refugees so I think that it would be a very good idea and I think it also would be a very good idea for this for the leaders of these nations you know for the United Nations to meet with them to make sure that they understand that when, when their nationals leave, they continue to have a responsibility toward these people, where they go, and how they are treated. They should not be turning a blind eye to the plight of their nationals. So I think that it's a good uh, uh, thing to do, and I think we must do it, because uh, it is about time that not, not only here in the US, but all over, that refugees who are forced to leave. And then we need to know too, Raul, and I'm, uh, that refugees are forced to leave because of what's going on in their homeland. So we have to go to the roots of the problem. Because I, I can understand uh, uh, the minister. He has a right to protect his, his territory, but he also has an obligation to respect international law, which is to afford any refugees coming to his land the right of due process. Mm -hmm. Mi isla no es muy, muy, muy bueno, pero lo que quiero decir es uh, que la situación de los refugiados en, en Bahamas es muy malo. Es muy importante que lo, el gobierno de Haití uh, hace lo que necesita para proteger uh, los derechos de los refugiados haitianos, cubanos y otros en, en, en Bahamas. Y quiero decir a la ministra Richie que el tiempo es ahora. Para, para investigar la condición de los refugiados en the Bahamas y para establecer, establecer uh, un, un sistema para proteger los derechos de estos refugiados haitianos, cubanos y otros. Gracias. Eh, los, eh, las personas que llegaron eh, aquí están a punto de, o sea, que llegaron al aeropuerto, creo que están a punto de, de llegar aquí, por si alguno de ustedes lo quiere esperar, pero de ahí nosotros partimos hacia el consulado, from, from here we're gonna go to the consulate general, uh, para llevar la carta y, y llevar un, un testimonio grabado.